I understand that you're shy and you don't like doing it, but the fact of the matter is, your fans actually want to hear. The music industry is full of artists looking to become the next best thing, and most will do whatever it takes to earn a spot in the spotlight. Leo Cohen is a record executive and has been involved in the business for over 30 years. But on June 17, 2014, it was confirmed that Young Thug had signed with 300 Entertainment after being offered 8.5 million to sign with Future's Free Bands record label. Young Thug was welcome to the team and also was given his own office in the headquarters with Kevin Lyles making a statement saying, I like to stress that the most important thing to you is not what this 300 or wide sell. Look at this guy who committed himself to us daily. The important thing that I can say to all of you guys is not whether it's 300 or wide sell. Look at the person, look at the guy that committed to us every single day. And in November of 2016, YSL the label was born. Less than a year later, Young Thug signed his first artist to the label, Gunna. Gucci Mane wanted to sign Gunna, and he put out a tweet saying, Somebody tell Gunna I got a million for him to sign today. To the evil genius, no cap, 1017 versus the world. Young Thug seen this and tweeted back, I gave him that already, kid, no cap. Gunna will release Drip Season 1 and 2 making him and Thug's relationship even stronger. NBA Youngboy became the second artist signed to YSL in a joint deal with Atlantic Records for five albums after not signing to Birdman's Cash Money Records. Young Thug would welcome NBA Youngboy to the label with a tweet saying, welcome home, my love. Later, Le Duke and Young Thug's two sisters would join the label as well. And on August 15, 2018, Thug announced he was dropping Slime Language. And this album included every artist signed to YSL, but Young Boy was not included on the album. But we just started hanging like, this is my brother. He was always the guy that everybody loved. Always, from a kid to now. Young Thug is responsible for some of the biggest names in hip hop today. For example, Lil Baby. Him and Lil Baby have a deep relationship, and he says Young Thug was the reason he started rapping. Young Thug also speaks highly of Lil Baby, and admits to giving him money to get out of the streets and pursue his rap career, and says the reason he didn't sign Lil Baby was because... I was I was dealing with a lot of legal, I was dealing with, you know what I'm saying, like a lot of like courts. Thug also signed two brothers to YSL, Lil Key and Lil Got It, but Lil Key passed away at the age of 24, leaving behind his brother. Young Thug changed their life forever and can be seen in this video listening to Key's music before he signed him. I seen a different type of love from my mom and Key. My mom turned me on him. My mom called me like, yo, it's a kid named Key, you need to get him. Oh, your mom did? Okay. Yes. He was already wow. hanging with my, he young, he was already hanging with my nephews. He was hanging with my nephews every day, but my nephew never said that to me about it. Mm. Because, you know, he just don't like to bother me when it, when it. Lil Key passed away of natural causes. Two days after the YSL Rico arrest were made. As police arrested the rapper Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams. Young Thug, Gunner, and 26 others were arrested on a 56 count, 88 page indictment that claimed YSL was a gang, but being ran as a record label for a cover up. District Attorney Fonnie Willis held a press conference and had this to say. My number one focus is targeting gangs, and there's a reason for that. They are committing conservatively 75 to 80 percent of all of the violent crime that we have. You see, Fonnie Willis is the first female district attorney of Fulton County, and she took office in January 1st, 2021, replacing Paul Howard Jr., and her main focus is gangs. While Young Thug was having one of the best years of his career, District Attorney Fonnie Willis was just getting started in her new position, bringing in a whole new staff, standing firm on making her county a safer place. They are literally stealing our youth because they're attracting them to this lifestyle that is harmful to them and harmful to us as a community. Before Thug and the others were hit with the Rico, let's take it back to 2015 when this happened. Who shot up tour buses belonging to rapper Lil Wayne, pleaded guilty and accepted a 10 year prison sentence. In 2015, a YSL and Rich Gang affiliate let off on two of Lil Wayne's tour buses while he was doing a show in Atlanta. Jimmy Winfrey, a.k.a. P.B. Roscoe, played a guilty to the crime and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Yeah, free Roscoe till you free. Big B's, big C's. You understand what I'm sizzling? Also in 2015, the demise of Donovan Thomas Jr. came outside of a barbershop. He was 26 years old at the time, and police believe YSL members are to blame for the crime, saying Young Thug rented the car to carry out the hit. 
new developments tonight in the case involving a popular Atlanta rapper. Just hours ago, a Fulton County judge denied bond for Young Thug, who this happening for a third time now. Rapper Gunna, a judge, has now denied him bond for a third time. Young Thug and Gunna will be denied bond each time they went before the judge. And this did not sit well with many friends and family members. And make any outbursts, I'll have you arrested. Prosecutors believe that Young Thug and Gunna were the shot callers of YSL and feared they would intimidate witnesses if they were released. Gunner's lawyers argued that the evidence was limited to support their claims about witness intimidation and said that the prosecutors had failed to provide any instance that Gunner had threatened anyone and believed Gunner was being held in jail on a biased decision. We requested this time that the state produce some witness, some document, some screenshot, something, so that this can be actually verified when we hear this issue. The deal that set Gunna free, a major development in a huge racketeering case. The Atlanta-born rapper Gunna, whose given name is Sergio Kitchens, made a deal with prosecutors. In Two months after being denied bond for the third time, Gunna pled a guilty to conspiracy to violate the RICO Act after being locked up for seven months. Gunna was arrested two days after Thug, but the first to come home. After Gunna was released, a picture of him and his family surfaced online. A video also started floating around social media with Gunner admitting YSL was a gang and a record label, and he said he was a part of the record label and not the gang. His lawyer Steve Sato came to his defense tweeting, Gunner did not snitch to get out of jail. He has said nothing and is not cooperating. His plea statement cannot be used in court against any other defendant, so please stop spreading lies. Rappers like Boos and Freddie Gibbs voiced their opinion about Gunner in videos and social media posts, and a fan also showed disappointment by posting a video throwing cheese at Gunner's Maybach truck. Weeks after he was released, Gunner would then make his first post to IG saying, they acting like they switching to his side, but it's on the one side. Why I said the label? Free thug and yak, Gunner back. Gunner also sent his condolences to Lil Keed, who died the day he turned himself in. YSL member Mondo took to social media to give his take on Gunner, saying this. Ain't no way in the hell, bro, you, you, you think you back real. Ain't no way in the hell you think you back real. He even said District Attorney Fonny Willis was his lawyer and representing him, helping him beat his case a few years before taking down YSL on RICO charges. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get one up. <laughs> now, and while you're hugging that really, really cute child, remember that's a reason you want to be back in front of me.